Six separate warnings were sent to ships in the North Atlantic about an unusual abundance of icebergs floating far south of the normal pattern for that time of year. The Titanic struck one of those bergs and sank with catastrophic results. In a sense, we all captain our own vessel, sailing through unknown dangers in the sea of life. We alone make the decisions where to go and how fast to travel. All along the way, we pass warning signs and may hear foghorns where there is limited visibility. Do we heed the warnings or ignore them? We may navigate cautiously and avert a possible disaster, or we can race heedlessly, charging through our lives and suffer the consequences. Warnings are important. God gave us his book, the Bible, to warn us. Paul told the Romans, Whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning and our warning that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. It is God's good pleasure to give us the kingdom. Since God wants to save us, he gives us warnings to stay on the right path. He has no pleasure in the death of the wicked. We read in Chronicles, The Lord God of their fathers sent warnings unto them by his messengers, rising up early and sending them, because he had compassion on his people. Did they listen? The next verse says, But they mocked the messengers of God, despised his words, and scoffed at his prophets, until the wrath of the Lord rose against his people, till there was no remedy. Let us hope we learn from their mistakes. Do we listen to the warnings God is sending us through his word? Do we scoff at them? Let us learn to listen. Let us be alert to warnings. And let us show our love for God by avoiding the dangers that lurk in our path as we steer for the kingdom.